Well, I, earlier you said that you have visited a lot of countries. So what yes. supreme or mementos would you like to bring back from your dream destination? Uh, okay, so the time that I was deputed in these countries. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I, I believe you have a lot of questions. The second question is like that because I have met so many people. They are from Kerala, but they have their own accent and they have their Correct. own regional dialect i think that so you are not uh, not look like that and uh, maybe you you have been to any other countries or you have learned something from other countries as well yes i have traveled to different countries over the past five years that is definitely there from 2018 to 2023 i was not in india at all but uh yes it might have slightly contributed towards my english but i would say uh not too much because um, I did my entire schooling uh, from first standard to 12th grade in Kerala itself. I was I was in Kerala only until my 12th grade. And I used to speak maybe not this faster. Maybe this might have, you know, traveling to different countries and being in an environment where I had to speak continuously in English. That might have contributed towards me, uh, you know, getting into that pace. But definitely I used to speak like this uh, before. And I'll, I'll greatly contribute the, I don't know, I'll, I'll tell HBO and star movies yeah. like those were the two channels <clears throat> that was available at that point in time and uh, that was the ones I, I liked watching movies all the time i told you i'm gonna i'm a i'm a little bit of an actor director writer and i was greatly greatly into movies and i always watch movies and series and mostly movies and that was available uh over there in star movies or hbo british i mean hbo was british broadcast right from british broadcast and yeah, home right. box office right <laughs> And uh, Star Movies is from Star Network, that is uh, from the America. Um, so I think that is the reason why I have a mixed accent. It's not perfectly American. It's not perfectly British. It's not perfectly Australian. It's it's a mixed accent. It's not perfectly Indian either. So it's kind of a mix of a lot of accents. And I think that's the reason why I have this kind of accent, if it is making any difference. And I don't know if that is an advantage, but um, this is the way I speak. And I'm not trying to fake it. This is really how I speak. So, yeah. You are giving this uh, super advantage. I, India, India people, they have their own accent. They are not yes. interested to American or British accent. Really, you are, you are exceptional from those teachers. And I have already met so many teachers. Okay. Thank you. I, I so, really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Okay. So uh, earlier you said that you have visited a lot of countries. So what yes. supreme or mementos would you like to bring back from your dream destination uh, okay so the time that i was deputed in these countries so i went for my medical education right i did my obviously i told you i'm appearing for my fmz here so that means i'm a foreign resident graduate and partly that was the reason i that was a major reason for me to travel across the world uh, because i opted international rotations and i got to complete my training from different countries different teaching hospitals and all right so um the time I was not in India, like I was planning to go and do my, you know, MD1 and MD2 and then come back, like after two and a half years, return to my country, home, home, hometown here itself, and then uh, probably continue uh, my medical education after, you know, maybe two, three months of vacation and go back to uh, my university and stuff. But COVID hit. I left in 2018 and COVID hit in 2019 towards the end. Yes. 2019, anyway, that was a time of COVID and uh, I was in the medical field and there was no flights, there, there, were, there were absolutely no way for reaching home or any other countries if that was something, right? And I was in the American continent, so at that point of time, there was no method for us to reach here anyway. So that's the reason why I was stuck over there and I don't really think uh, there was a situation to bring back a lot of mementos other than my step and my uh, surgical kit and all those things <laughs> that i have as a medical student there wasn't much mementos and we we cannot carry a lot of stuff and especially being students we already have a lot of uh, i don't know the equipments and stuff that we need to carry the scrubs and stuff so we have very limited luggage capacity as well so very few mementos that i brought along myself um most of them would be my scrubs my surgical kit my stethoscope and uh, probably some books um maybe some small bands wristbands that's that's what i brought in there's there isn't much but on the other hand i do have a lot of memories like i do have uh i'm not 
much fond of taking pictures altogether, but I prefer mm, keeping those memories uh, close to heart. And I do remember a lot of those things. And that was really amazing, especially it was a tough time. Uh, I miss COVID and we were dealing with uh, a lot of Americans and other nationals stuck in different parts of the world. And I got to experience a firsthand experience, like the firsthand experience, even in the first uh, three years of medicine, that is very rare that we get. So that kind of experience is just amazing. And I think that is the biggest takeaway uh, for me. Awesome. And uh, the question is crucial questions about me as well as because I used to go to bed in late and I used to sleep, uh, sleep to maybe three to four hours like that. And mm -hmm. I'm conducting the session if I will book any session. So I prefer to conduct the session at night. So mm -hmm. in this situation, I need to I need to wake up uh, early in the morning and I have to scarf down breakfast. And after that, I need to prefer for my buses and I need to lift up from my home. So in this situation, right. I am dealing everything, whatever, whatever we have. So sometimes I'm feeling that uh, I have some disease and light headed and sometimes okay. drowsy. So, but I am control everything. So it could be effect for my future as a, as a, being a doctor. What's your opinion in this situation? You don't have to be a doctor to answer that question. Definitely. And I think you're pretty much certainly uh, in the right direction. Because if you're asking me these questions that I think you do have a, a perception, a, a view towards this already. Uh, lifestyle effects. That is two words that I want to say. Lifestyle do affect. And yeah. getting into a rhythm, getting into a habitual action, that is something very good. Uh, but getting that rhythm is not very easy. Like we have to compromise a lot of things. We'll have to push ourselves to certain limits as well. We'll have to break certain things. We'll have to fix certain things. That is very tough. But yes, uh, you will need to have a set period of time that is required for sleep. You will need to have uh, a set period of time for recreation. You need to have set amount of meal and that meal should have the right amount of protein, carbs and nutrients that is supposed to go into your body. And you should be, uh, if I may ask, how old are you, sir? I'm 29. You're 29. You're just 29. Okay, fine. Yeah. So uh, I think this is the best time. I mean, you're in the borders of 20s and your 20s and 30s are the best time to, you know, just, how can I say, exp experiment yourself, not ex experience, yes, but experiment yourself a little bit at the same time. Um, but keep a close watch on your system, your health. And if you can do that, that means... Your 20s and 30s are going to be great and experimental. Your 40s and 50s are going to be very healthy. And you don't really have to do experiments at that point, point of time. You'll have had enough experience from these experiments that you've conducted. And you'll have a set motion in life. So I think, yes, um, it has great impact. The lifestyle does have great impact on your health. And as you would already know, please do work on it. If you, if you don't have a perfect, uh, I'm not going to say perfect, but you'd have to have something close to perfect in terms of health in terms of your lifestyle. So please work on that. OK, thank you. Yes, and that's my recommendation. OK, because uh, actually, uh, we are not conscious about our health and we need to food because sometimes uh, I, I eat as per my appetite. I'm not foody at all and sleepy. But uh, yeah, still, I'm doing great. And it's a hard work and tedious work I need to I need to do the work. So that's the reason sometimes it's feeling like that. So, yeah, what uh, turns out to be, let's see. Yeah, being a driver, being a driver, that that actually it's very um, strenuous in terms of physical exertion, right? And that is something, um, it's a sedentary job. Like you'll be sitting and driving all the time, right? You, you don't get much time getting up, walking out, unless you force yourself to. And uh, people are very, people always want to be in that comfort zone. So it do, I mean, how can I say, it does have a great impact on your back, right? The sedentary lifestyle has great impact <clears> on your back <throat> and your neck, uh, your whole vertebra, your spinal column and all these things. So uh, you might not have, you're only 29 now, so you might not feel it now. But like I said, if you are focused enough on your 20s and 30s and experiment in the right yeah. way, then your 40s and 50s are going to be ideal. Otherwise, you'll feel or you'll find aging catching up to you very fast. 
right? So you don't want that. Like, okay, now you're, th- you're going to be turning 30 and you you does the same for 10 more years. And then you don't want to feel like, okay, I'm very tired. I don't want to do this. You still want to continue what you like doing, right? You don't want to set up. See, if you are not pushing yourself to the limit right now at this point in time, then sooner or later, you will be forced to do the same. So it's better if you actually control yourself, if you actually work on these things, set a rule. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it. Then you will still be under control of all those things later as well, right? This is all um, a long-term perspective. But people could say, why would you have to worry about that? We don't even know if you're going to be available, to, like, I don't know, like alive tomorrow or not, or available tomorrow or not. We have no idea about that, right? We have complete, complete, complete uh, smoke screen on that. Yeah. But it's always good to have a plan. Definitely, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to work according to us. But it's good to have a plan, right? So I, I strongly recommend uh, to have a proper schedule, and at least close to proper schedule, like not a proper proper schedule, but close to proper schedule. Um, have good food, and on time, yeah. right? On time and good sleep. That too, and a set period of time. If you if you want just only four or five hours of sleep, that is really good. That's fine as well. But make sure you're getting that, and you're getting it regularly on the same time. Don't just you know, fumble around with that. Do not play around with your health, right? Because that will react and that might not be um, in the same gravity that we expect it to come back to us. Okay. Thank you All very right. much. And so that's my recommendation on this. Please continue. Okay. I think we are close okay, to another now, time, right? Yeah. Okay. Now it's your time. If you have any question, then you can uh, ask me. I do have one small question, but I think I already have the answer. I'm not sure if I've seen you in YouTube already, but do you happen to be a YouTuber as well? Yes, yes. I have. Okay, okay. okay fantastic. How is it doing? How is the channel doing? Yeah, channel is going uh, fantastic because uh, I, I'm uploading the only conversation video. So, okay. yeah, it's, uh, I do think mind, it has already been... Do you mind if I subscribe to your channel? Yeah, Jaffa Driver Talk. Okay, so do you mind if I subscribe to your channel? Is that okay? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. It will be my great okay, pleasure that me... uh, you will be my subscriber. Yes, Jaffa Driver Talk. Okay, I just um, subscribed to your channel. All right. Okay, great. So um, just in case, if you want to optimize this video and place my channel as well, then of course, my channel's name is Dr. Amal Mohan, MD. You can easily find my channel through as well. I just subscribed to your channel, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. It's actually, okay, uh, you so... just have to, the handle just, uh, the handle is just Dr. Amal Mohan. That's it. That is the handle name. Okay. Okay. Let me check. Yeah. Do you want and me to... one more thing. Yeah. yeah one Please. more thing I highly recommended to you that when you will get any laser time. So definitely you are going to visit my channel. And what is the, what is the lack? You need to rectify, and then the next session you will definitely explain to me that I need to I need to focus on the particular ways. I will. I will. Today we didn't get to speak much about English, but you were you already you already made clear that you had several questions. That's the reason we got into that, and I I did have a suspicion about uh, you having a channel. So anyway, it was really really nice talking to you. And guys, this, I'm giving you an outro too. I really have to get to the next session right now. But anyway, let me give you an outro. Guys, this guy is amazing. I just talked to this one and he's got amazing English to him. And I think he's trying to do service to all of you people. So I just subscribe to his channel. Please do subscribe to his channel. And it'd be absolutely nice to talk to you, sir, again sooner or later. So I'll see okay. you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.